Hi! Do you feel icky whenever you go to sell your products? I've been there. It can be super hard, but I've had a few really key mindset shifts that have helped me push past that. So I'm going to share those with you in this video so you can stop feeling gross when you go to sell your stuff. But before I do, I want you to go ahead and hit subscribe if you're into enamel pins, talking about enamel pins, talking about Instagram, growing your business, all that good stuff. Um, I share tons and tons of content here for that. So feel free to hit subscribe, ding that little bell. I don't know where anything is. Okay, so if the thought of selling gives you a pit in your stomach, you are not alone. Uh, by the end of this video, you will have some key mindset shifts that will give you the confidence you need and you won't feel bad about putting yourself out there anymore. So these are the tips that I have used personally to grow both my product side of the business, my the Pink Samurai shop where I sell pins and physical products, and it also works for the course side of my business where I sell digital products and kind of education uh, knowledge-based courses. So this works for everything. These are just mindset shifts to get you out of your head and feel comfortable selling. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so the people that follow you follow you for a reason. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know what you're selling. They just want to know what you're up to. So by just kind of assuming that they don't want to know, that you're bothering them, that you're um, just shouting too much about selling, that takes their agency away. You know, they, uh, they need to be the one that makes the decision about whether they buy or not. So you need to put that information in front of them so they can decide. All right. <laughs> and that leads directly into number two, which is if they do decide that they don't want to see what you're offering, they'll unfollow you. And that's fine because they weren't going to buy from you anyway. <laughs> you know, so what does it matter? Um, having a number on social media does not mean as much as having a customer actually purchase from you. So uh, steps one and two go hand in hand. Do not take away their agency. You need to let your customers decide what they want to see or not see. You need to give them the opportunity to see what you're selling and um, know what you're doing because they follow you for a reason. They looked through, and everyone looks through tons of profiles every single day, and they chose to follow you for a reason. So you need to give them what they want <laughs> and let them decide. And then if they decide to unfollow, fine. Okay, bye. <laughs> the whole point of the game is attract and repel. You know, you want to attract the people who are your people, who get you and your message, and then repel the ones who don't. That's fine. Like you're not for them. You're not for everyone and that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, steps one and two. So let me know in the comments if either one of those two things are kind of like an aha moment for you or you're like, oh dang, I have been taking agency away from my <laughs> followers this whole time by assuming they don't want to see, you know? So let me know in the comments um, how you feel about that. Okay, number three is I want you to think about how you support your friend, okay? So I'm sure you have a friend in your industry or that's also a maker that you support, that you holler about. If they've got a sale going on, you're going to blast it to your people. If they've got something cool new coming out, you're like, oh my God, look at this cool thing that my friend is doing. It's so awesome. Do that for yourself, ding dong. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Think about how you would support your very best friend in everything that they do and give yourself that support. You know, talk to yourself like you talk to your friends, okay? So you need to be nice to yourself and you need to, to support yourself just as much as you support those around you. So the next time you catch yourself hollering about someone else, see how you talk about them and then talk about yourself that way. Talk about your own business that way and you will pump yourself up and you'll get so excited, all right? I want you to think about that. Think about how your friends talk about your business, you know, how excited they get. I want you to see that from, just see it from another perspective, you know, how you support your friends and how they support you. You need to channel that into the support for yourself. How many times did I just say the word support? Doesn't matter. You need to support yourself and holler about yourself just like you would about your friend or how your friends do about you. Okay, now, number four was kind of the 
biggest mindset shift that I made in my business so far. So you need to believe so much in what you are doing that you feel like it's a disservice not to tell people about it. All right. You need to be so passionate about the work you're creating, um, about the things that you are teaching people, about anything that you make that you truly feel like people will be missing out if you don't tell them. So I know that my pens are super cute. <laughs> I love them. I make them for me. And um, I know that cat people who love cute stuff are gonna like my pens. Dang it. And I want them to see it because I want them to add it to their collection because I know it will make them happy. <laughs> you know? So, um, and the same thing goes with my e-courses. I know that my Enamel Pens 101 course works. All right. I know that my illustrator for pen makers gives people the knowledge that they need to feel confident in that program. I know that. And I feel like I'm doing a disservice if I don't tell people about it. You know what I mean? Like, if this is what you need, then it's here for you. <laughs> and I want you to know about it. So it's the same kind of thing as like number one, where you're kind of taking agency away, like not letting people decide. Like, you know that your audience loves your work, all right? And you need to be sure they know about it so they don't miss out because you know it will make them happy. So I want you to like kind of sit and think about that because it can, it can be hard to be confident in your work at first, especially when people use the word just. And I'm going to go off on a tangent really quick here. This is not in my script. <laughs> you need to, using the word just really takes the wind out of your sales. Oh, I'm, I just have a little business, you know, oh, I'm just, I just doodle things, blah, blah, blah. No, you're an artist and you need to own it. All right. You make products for certain people that would love to have them, you know, and I want you to, in working through these steps, I want you to start gaining that confidence in your work. You know, I want you to feel that your stuff is important and know that there are people out there who will buy it and who will love it. You know what I mean? And you need to make sure they know about it. I mean, on Instagram, what is it like 3% of your audience even sees what you're posting at any given time, you know? So don't feel like you are bombarding people with information. You know, you just want to make sure they know what's going on because you know they're going to love it. All right. <laughs> so uh, take a minute to think on that one um, for a second. And I'm going to get into number five. So number five is this is your business. <laughs> All right. You are trying to build a business. You have a successful business and you want to take it to the next level. You know, you are just starting out and you want this to be your full-time gig. This is your business. This is how you want to make your money. So you have to holler about it. <laughs> you have to sell, you know, you have to market your stuff because this is what you want to do. This is what you care about. This is your passion, you know? So feeling icky about selling isn't really an option. <laughs> you know, this is just a hurdle that you have to get past. Honestly, this is something that, and a lot of it is like, you know, you gain confidence by doing the thing. You know, you have to do the thing first before you're confident to do it. You know what I mean? And then it's behind you and you know that you've done it. So you have to put in the practice and you have to just start selling and start doing it because this is your business. I just want you to know that you can put yourself out there. You know, that's the whole point of running a business like this. Um, and I've been doing it for years and years. So I have had plenty of practice <laughs> in putting myself out there. I have, I've had plenty of practice. I've pivoted so many times. I've been nervous so many times to redesign the shop and add new products and try new things and all this stuff. And as someone who doesn't, I'm an Enneagram three, so I like to, you know, try all kinds of different things and, um, and I'm okay with putting myself out there and I understand it can be really difficult, but there have been times when it's scary. So yeah, number five is basically you have to <laughs> because it's your business and you have to sell, 
you know, if you don't want to sell anything, if you just want it to be a hobby, that's fine. Um, but if you want to grow a business, if you want this to be your full-time gig, if you want to go to a next level, level, then you have to do it. And I want you to have the confidence. And then once you do it once, you'll feel more comfortable the next time and the next time and the next time. And it gets easier and easier as you grow and as you figure out, you know, what kind of works for your business, what works for your brand and your voice and all that stuff. So yeah, you just have to do it. <laughs> okay, so those are my five tips to not feel icky about selling. <laughs> um, if you need a reminder, I've actually made a quick cheat sheet so you can print these out. You can look at them, kind of see them as like an affirmation and know that you are worthy of putting yourself out there. Your business is worthy of growing. It's okay to sell because you need to grow your business. <laughs> All right, so there's a link down below. Be sure to click that and you'll get the printable. You can print it out and then just look at it whenever you need an extra little boost, you know, because we all do. <laughs> if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, um, share it out to your business BFF, the one we were just talking about in step three. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, the secret emoji for today is those little praise hands. I know I've used them before, but I use them all the time when I'm texting anyway. So <laughs> um, put those down below because I want you to be excited for yourself, excited for your business, excited to sell. Um, give me that in the comments below. And let me know if you had any kind of um, aha moments from the video. Tell me down below in the comments so we can talk about it because this is a big subject. It's a hard thing to overcome and so much of it is in our heads. So I want you to kind of get over that hump and really start to feel better about selling because I mean you're selling cool stuff you know you're not trying to dupe anyone into buying anything you know you're not being dishonest you're selling cute stuff that you've made you know you're making cool artwork and you want the world to know about it and they should so um yes let me know down below if this was helpful and I will see you in the next video Bye.